Well, I was having a problem with my knees. They were both hurting, and I had a hard time walking, going up and down the stairs especially. I fell down one time, part way down the stairs, and Sam caught me, so I had to go all the way down, so that was good. And then I had trouble with my back, and uh, I've had trouble with my back for a long, long time now. Okay. And uh, when you came to the office, did were we uh, thorough about your evaluation, and did we explain things in a way that made sense to you? Yeah, I think you did. Good, good. I asked a few questions that I didn't know about, and they said, yeah, and we got on pretty good. Good, okay. And uh, now that you've had the treatment here for a few months, uh, how are you doing now? I'm doing fine. Really? Yeah. yeah, you're able to walk up and down stairs, and, uh, and your back's feeling good? Mm -hmm. Great. And uh, Pearl, how, how old are you? Ninety-three. Ninety-three. So at ninety-three year old, uh, at ninety-three years old, you can you can actually still heal. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, surprise. Right. And uh, were uh, was anybody recommending shots or surgery or anything like that uh, for you, for your problem? Oh yeah, they always do. Yeah, yeah. And I and so uh, one last question: if uh, if somebody was thinking about coming here but maybe hesitant or not sure if it was going to work, what would you tell them? I'm a guy go here. Come here. Yes, I will. All right. Very good, Pearl. Well, I want to tell you something, Pearl. Uh, I, I don't have too many 93-year-olds that come in here, uh, but I want to tell you I'm, I'm really glad you did, and I sure appreciate you. So am I. Very happy I came here. Great. I was having real difficulty with the right knee. I'd been to two very good orthopedic surgeons. They both said, oh, you need a complete knee replacement. And at my age, I just thought I'd rather avoid the surgery and um, been struggling with a little pain, kind of worked through it, but I really thought I wanted to see if there weren't other options. I did have the shots, they helped a little, but um, I, I still wasn't satisfied. I wanted to be pain free and I was hoping that Dr. Harper could point me in that direction. My, my training and background, civil engineer, so we engineers are like things structured, and Dr. Harper was very, very good about, and I think more than just good, he was just open and friendly and honest about what we were going to do, what the costs were, what the procedure was, and <clears throat> I promised my uh, older son that before I got involved in anything, I would discuss it with him, and <clears throat> he's vice president of Neiman Markets in Dallas, Texas, so I respect his thinking very much, and uh, <clears throat> Bruce was... Uh, or Dr. Harper was kind enough to call my son Bruce. The two of them had a very good conversation, and of course Bruce and I talked, and I was very relieved that Dr. Harper and Bruce and I were all on the same page. So it, our approach is, his approach is a little different, and I just felt better having family members supporting what I was doing. And I've been very pleased because Dr. Harper has continued his openness, his honesty uh, all along. And I feel really like a family member and we have no secrets. We're just working the problem. And I am getting results. Well, just basic things like walking. Right. And Dr. Harper has been good in working with me to stabilize my gait, and uh, at my age I'm concerned with falling, tripping, and Dr. Harper has helped with that. Um, I need to build up the strength in my right leg, we're doing that. Uh, uh, everything's going well. And one of the things that uh, I've been very pleased with is Dr. Harper is treating the total person. Yes, we concentrate on the knee, we concentrate it on the back, but uh, it's the total well-being that we're after, and I find that very helpful and very constructive. I know that I'm sure pleased that I made the decision to come here, and it's working for me.
Welcome. Today I'd like to share with you every bit of information that I know that I've gathered over 31 years of over 7,500 patients and going to seminars, symposiums, studying, sharing with other doctors, teaching and learning from other doctors on how to correct knee pain and most importantly not only save you from knee surgery and shots and drugs and all those things with those terrible side effects but to get you back to enjoying your life. Hi, I'm Dr. John Harper from beautiful Oceanside, California, and I am so honored to be with you today because this could be a very important day for the both of us. This could be the beginning of our ability to work together to get you back to doing those things, to get rid of that knee pain, the stiffness, the swelling, the grinding, the inability to go up and down stairs, uh, not being able to get out and participate in life like golf or running or jogging or the gym or yoga or goodness, oh my gosh, I was with my grandkids today. If I couldn't run around with them and pick them up and have fun with them, oh my goodness, what a, what a tragedy that would be. So uh, the time we're gonna spend together, it's gonna go fast, I promise. Sit back, relax, and you're gonna learn an awful lot about knees and what makes them tick and what makes them sick. So here we go. So chronic knee pain, what is chronic knee pain? What causes it? And most importantly, what can be do done to, to restore your knees to good health? So I'm Dr. John Harper. I've been in private practice here in Oceanside since 1986. I'm personally consulted and examined treated over 7,500 patients in that time. I'm a board member of the American Functional Neurology Institute. You're gonna say, what does neurology have anything to do with knees? Oh, you'll find out, I'm sure. Uh, you'll be I've been granted numerous awards and certifications in my 31 years. I regularly attend conferences and symposiums to stay on top of the newest cutting edge research, diagnostics, and protocols. Uh, I receive calls from all around the United States and, and some in from Mexico from our office trying to get some help with uh, the problems that we take care of. And uh, I'm a third generation Southern Californian. Uh, matter of fact, I just realized that five generations of Harpers have lived right here in Oceanside. Uh, I, um, I have uh, four kids and uh, as the time of this video, uh, five grandkids, matter of fact. I think here's one now. Yeah, there's there's my grandson Caleb, and uh, what a what a beauty boy that guy is. Ah, they're all great, aren't they? So let me tell you a little bit about my story. Uh, when I was 21 years old, I was scheduled for back surgery, and the surgeon said I had a 25% chance of being paralyzed from the waist down for the rest of my life from the surgery. Uh, and I went home talked to my best friend and uh, very upset uh, obviously and he said yeah you should go to my chiropractor and they said well what's that I didn't even know what it was and he said well that's a doctor that uses your body's ability to heal itself and he didn't say it was a guy who cracks your back or neck or leg or knee thank goodness because my back already felt cracked and so I ended up going to the chiropractor and not only did I get back to work and working out but uh, he suggested that I look into being a chiropractor and that's what I did and so I am a chiropractor but I am way more than that we're not going to be pushing on your neck or back or your knee for the most part uh, what we're going to be doing is getting to the underlying cause of what's going on with you and I use f structural procedures functional medicine and functional neurology to get people better so 10 uh, signs of a chronic knee injury, uh, pain, limp, burning, swelling, uh, hot, cold, uh, poor weight bearing abilities, um, pain causing uh, poor sleep, that's terrible. Um, you got clicking, popping noises going on in the knee, uh, pain radiating up and down from the knee, and then uh, you're on over the counter uh, drugs, medications, prescriptions, you know, getting shots at relief. Uh, maybe you've already had uh, one or two partial knee replacements, maybe even a whole new knee replacement. Believe it or not, we can even help you with those kind of things. So chronic knee, it's very common. Over 20 million Americans suffer it a year. Uh, it's the most common pain in the extremities, the extremities of your arms and legs. Uh, there's a very common assu assumption that uh, all knee pain is caused by damaged cartilage, which isn't true, and can only be corrected by surgery, drug, uh, drugs, or injections. Here to promise you that's not true. We don't use any of those things. We, don't, we avoid all those dangerous side effects, and we do it all naturally. So. 
What do I mean by uh, chronic knee injury? Well, an acute injury is something that occurred recently, a result of a traumatic event. Um, you know, you fall down and you break your bone. Uh, you have a heart attack. You have a stroke. Um, you know, the uh, trouble birth and a baby. These are all uh, acute problems, and medicine is really great and awesome at those kind of things. What do I mean by chronic? Well, this develops slowly or recurring over a period of time. Um, mild symptoms overlooked for months or even years that are allowed to build up and create more problems. Ignoring such uh, mild pains and aches uh, can lead to a persistent chronic injury that's difficult to heal. So the most common thing that I hear from my patients from the, uh, their medical doctors have told them is, you know, take the medications and hold off on the knee surgery as long as you can. Well, you know, let's talk about that. Medications can have serious consequences as you're risking damage to your liver and your kidneys. There's no guarantee that that forty to fifty thousand dollar knee surgery will work. You know, I you know, I don't know if many people know this, but you have anywhere from four to sixteen weeks rehab. You know, you're gonna have to spend some time in a nurse nursing home of some sort, some rehab home uh, away from the house. And it's going to take a long time for that knee to heal if it ever does. Now there's also the risk of infections, the anesthesia problems, the downtime, the restrictions, rehab therapy, and more medications after the surgery. So a lot of people, they don't think this is a good idea. They're looking for an alternative. So why do drug, uh, doctors prescribe useless drugs that have such health consequences? Well, they're in a bad system. And to kind of let you know about this bad system, I'm going to have you watch this uh, little short video here on uh, a very important documentary on our, quote, healthcare crisis. The American healthcare system is badly broken. The present system doesn't work, and it's going to take us down. We need a whole new kind of medicine. We're in the grip of a very big industry, and it doesn't want to stop making money. If I spend five minutes with you and then put in one of these stents, I'd probably get paid $1,500. For me to spend 45 minutes with a patient to try to figure out what their true problem is, I'd probably get paid $15. It's a completely irrational system. We don't have a health care system in this country. We have a disease management system. We're spending almost twice as much in America as any other country on Earth, but our lifespan isn't even in the top 20. 30,000 Medicare recipients die each year from care they didn't need. That's the equivalent of a jumbo jet crashing every single week. If the aviation industry killed as many people, we'd be up in arms. The administration pays you based on how many patients you see. All right, who's next? If you try and buck the system, someone says, what can we do to get your productivity up? I'm not interested in getting my productivity up. I'm interested in helping patients. We're seeing the military just being a microcosm of the problems societies have. Soldiers' use of prescription drugs has tripled in the past five years. This medications I was on. Only by accepting that the American healthcare system is badly broken will we be able to seek out the escape fires, the potential solutions. There are answers. One company has figured out how to lower healthcare costs by more than 40%. We provide incentives for people to engage in healthier behaviors. The Army Surgeon General directed that we establish the Pain Management Task Force to take a look at alternatives to narcotics. I was skeptical, so skeptical. I've gotten a lot of inspiration, a different perspective. There's a different way of doing things that is possible. If I think about what healthcare could be like, it would have a lot more care in it. The healthcare system is unsustainable. We're really mortgaging the future. Not just the health of healthcare, we're talking about the health of the nation. It's a shame that we have to have this kind of thing, isn't it? But I'm going to let you know there's an alternative and you can have hope because of what we do here in our office. So acute injuries are not chronic injuries. So if you have an acute injury, the United States is the greatest place in the whole world. Heart attacks, strokes, broken bones, birth and baby problems, car accidents, uh, do it here. But it's the worst. You can't, um, you cannot correct chronic problems with acute treatments of drug shots and surgery. It's as simple as that. So the leading causes of chronic knee injury, uh, uncorrected faulty knee mechanics uh, the, of the supporting structures, uh, bad nerves and circulations, and chronic inflammation. 
So uncorrected knee mechanics. So every one of the supporting structures of the knee to be working properly to support the knee and nourish the joint. Damage or unhealthy of muscles, tendons, ligaments, cartilage, and even nerves will eventually cause the knee to wear out prematurely and become painful. Until the structural problem is corrected, the knee will continue to degenerate and cause more damage. This is why acute treatments like drugs, shots, and surgeries can't fix a chronic problem. So here's a picture of a knee, and as you can see, we have uh, the, the, the femur, the tibia, uh, anterior cruciate ligament, lateral collateral, medial collateral, tail ligament, and then the cartilage in here, the meniscus. So let me come on up here, and I got my handy dandy model of Bob and so what we have here is there's lots of reasons why we could get trouble so here's your kneecap as we look at it from the side you can see the cartilage uh, the medial collateral ligament medial collateral ligament femur tibia and the uh, fibula right here now the knee should move smoothly and evenly and if there's any tilting to one side or the other from damaged ligaments that's going to cause a wear and tear kind of like driving on two tires of your uh, of your wheel of your two two wheels of your car rather than on all four that's going to cause trouble one of the main issues that we do see with our patients is the cartilage the cartilage is a spacer the spacer there is to allow for proper movement and to keep the bones off of each other and when the knee becomes deranged it causes causes wear and tear on the cartilage. So what we need to do is realign the knee, fix whatever damaged structure there is, and then regenerate the cartilage of the knee. Now you may have been told by people that you cannot regenerate cartilage or nerves, but right here is a book by my good friend Dr. Rush Schroeder, and this is just from the medical research of 2015 and 2016, and in here is 2,000 medical references, uh, 1,000 on the uh, cartilage and 1,000 on the nerves, and these aren't the articles themselves, it's just the, it's just the listing of it. And so in here you can actually cause cartilage uh, and to regenerate uh, using the methods that we use. So I'd like to share that with you because I like having proof that we can do the things that we say we can do. So one of the things that's real important is, is how do you know what's, what st supporting structure is causing the problem? You gotta have a complete exam of the knee. That means a neuromusculoskeletal system. That means all of the nerves, the muscles, the ligaments, the cartilage, and the bones of the knee. And I promise you, anything less will never give you a complete picture, right? You know, it's like you can't find your keys and you look in every room but the kitchen, but it's in the kitchen. You'll never find your keys if you don't look in the kitchen. So this is why I do a thorough evaluation of the knee. So I provide a complete exam of all the supporting structures and review current x-rays. If you don't have current x-rays, we can get those for you. So the second thing that happens is poor nerves and circulation. It's really common. It's a chronic progressive problem. The electrical wiring is breaking down and the extremities can't communicate to the brain and the brain can't communicate to the extremities and it's caused by a breakdown of the capillary blood flow of your nerves. So here we have a normal nerve with blood supply all around it. Then what happens is we start to lose some of the nerve supply damaging the nerve and then we end up we have nerves that are shriveled when the blood vessels disappear. Your brain and your body communicate each other with each other through these nerves. The nerves are the connection. It's the wiring of your body, the electrical wiring of your, of your entire system. If your brain and body cannot communicate through the nervous system properly, then there will be problems and damage. If your brain can't communicate to that knee when it becomes injured, your knee won't get fixed and it will degenerate and get bad and get worse. Here's your brain, spinal cord, and all these other nerves are known as the peripheral nerves. And look, you got a bunch of nerves that go right here to the knees. Your brain has got to be able to communicate to the body properly to tell it how to work. So at this point, all chronic illnesses are a combination of structural, neurological, and metabolic problems. And it requires proper neurological treatment and metabolic treatment along with the structural. So we're going to step on over to what I call the magic board. And I'm going to go over this information with you so you can understand this a little bit better. So here we are at the magic board. And why is this magic? Because this is the magic of how I get patients better. This is how I explain why I do 
works. And this makes sense to me and it makes sense to every single one of my patients. So let's do this. So there's a metabolic side. There's a chemical part to your body. This is you eating your food and turning it to energy. Here's the neurological side. This is your brain, your nervous system, your peripheral nerves, your spinal cord. This is what directs everything to happen. Your brain tells the your body how to take that food how to take that food and turn it into energy. But your brain and your nervous system uses a full third of that energy. So what ends up happening is, is that these two things are intertwined. What the brain does to tell the body to make the energy uh, has to make the energy for the brain and the nervous system and the peripheral nerves. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me. So this is what happens. Let's say there's a, an injury. Doesn't matter where it is. Doesn't matter if it's your uh, uh, back, your knee, um, it, something happens to you, something causes a problem and it doesn't allow the body to work the way it was meant to. So let's say um, you, it causes you to not um, exercise as much as you should. So not exercising causes a problem with your brain. It, your, your body needs some sort, of, some sort of exercise. So if you're not exercising, this causes problems with your neurological system. If your neurological system, if your brain and your nervous system isn't working right, it can't tell the metabolic, it can't tell your body how to do the metabolism right. And so that's going to go down. Now, if the metabolic side goes down and doesn't produce the energy that the brain and nervous system needs, that's going to cause this to go down. All right? So let's say this is a symptom and uh, we'll call this uh, brain fog. Okay. So you go to your doctor and you say, oh, I got some brain fog. All right. I'm not really doing that. So you'll get some medication to cover up the brain fog. And let's say you come on over here and your body, your, your, your neuro, uh, neurological system is not telling the body how to create uh, food properly. And let's say uh, it's in your stomach and you start getting some uh, heartburn or you get some uh, acid reflux. And so then you're given some antacid to cover up that symptom. Well, but the medication that you take over here further doesn't let you digest your food properly. You know, if you take an antacid um, or something for acid reflux, it wipes out the acid in your stomach. Well, you need that acid to break down your food, don't you? And so now your food's not getting done, and so this creates another problem. So now you start becoming depressed and you say, oh, doctor, I'm depressed. Well, then you get another medication that you, you take for that. Well, that medication causes its own symptoms and that further depresses the neurological system. So can you see that um, you go, oh, well, uh, gee, you know, uh, now I got this knee pain or I got this back pain. So what's happening is you keep taking medications that keep causing problems on both sides. And it was kind of interesting when I was explaining this to a patient a couple years ago, as he was looking at these down arrows, he says, oh my gosh, doc, it's the race to hell. And I said, oh, that's good. I'm going to write that down. And so it is. Because when you keep covering up your symptoms, all right, you're just covering up your symptoms. You're just hiding the chronic problem and it just keeps getting worse. So what I do that's different is we look at you metabolically, neurologically, and we address whatever this injury was structurally and we address all three at the same time. So what happens now? So as we address you metabolically, that makes that a little better. Well, that's going to make the neurology a little bit better. And then that's going to make the metabolic side better. This is going to make this side better, this side better, and like that. And so what ends up happening, instead of having this problem with injury, what you're going to end up with is real, true health. Not just a bunch of covered up symptoms, not just a bunch of side effects from these drugs, and you won't be ending up with a chronic health problem that will at some point require really drastic things like shots and surgeries. 
So this is why we address the metabolic and the neurological sides at the same time with the structural, because we want to get you back to true health. Amazing, huh? It makes sense, doesn't it? Makes sense to me. So let's go forward with this. So metabolism. I mean by metabolism, you eat food and it becomes energy. So 30% of your energy goes to what system? The endocrine, the digestive, the nervous system, the immune system, or cardiovascular? Well, I would have picked nervous system because that's what we're talking about. Yeah, the brain, spinal cord, and the nerves. We need a proper metabolism, energy, for well-functioning brain and nerves. Metabolic problems can contribute to multiple chronic injuries, including damaged knees. So now we talk about chronic inflammation. Inflammation actually means to ignite or bring into flame. And you can't build a house if it's on fire. I look at this picture and I imagine somebody over here changing this window, why all this burning is going on. What a ridiculous thought. What a ridiculous thing to do. Well, in my mind, if you're trying to correct a chronic health problem and you're not dealing with inflammation, then you're just as loco as the guy changing the uh, window with the burning house. See, there's common causes of inflammation that contribute to chronic knee injury and the peripheral neuropathy, the damaged nerves, food sensitivities, inflammatory foods, poor fat absorption, poor digestion, high insulin. All these things cause your body to create swelling and inflammation, and it's like little machetes running around inside you, damaging you, causing your body to become older and, and uh, uh, more rickety as it was before. So metabolic causes need to be addressed if you're going to win the battle against chronic knee injury. And we do specialized blood work. Most physicians do about 15, 16 blood tests for their patients. Uh, we do 60. We're doing about four times as many. Also, I don't look at the blood work like a physician does. I look at it totally differently, and I'll explain why. See, my patients go, oh, doc, I don't need any blood work. I've been told everything's normal. Well, right now I'm going to tell you lab, uh, lab ranges are inaccurate. They use bell curves. So what do I mean by that? So this would be the normal range, this red and yellow. I'm so sorry. This red uh, over here, abnormal low and abnormal high, would be the considered normal range for normal blood work. But I need to explain how those are coming about. Every year, all those lab results are put together, and they're shipped off to an organization that averages them. So they take all these averages, and they average them together, and they say, oh, this is normal between these two, and this is too high, and this is too low. Well, there's a fallacy, because who goes to the doctor, healthy people or sick people? Well, the vast majority of the people in the United States go in or are sick. So these are normal, health, these are normal averages for sick people. So when people, patients come into me and we do these lab ranges, they say, look, do you want to be just not dead or do you want to be healthy? And they say healthy. So if I say healthy, I use these functional lab ranges because even in these areas, your physician would consider normal. They're not normal. They're more sensitive. I can find problems that appear normal long before they become even worse. So for example, your glucose was tested and it was 73. Well, traditional high low ranges is 65 to 110. That's a huge range. But here, 85 to 100 is the functional range. Your physician looks at 73 and says, oh, this is fine, not a problem. I look at it and said, oh my goodness, you're hypoglycemic. You don't have enough energy in your body to make your body run and heal properly. We've got to fix this. We've got to figure out why are you hypoglycemic. And it's not like I look at that and say, oh, you need to take this pill or vitamin for that. Or, oh, your cholesterol is too high, you're going to take a pill or uh, a drug for that. I look at them all together. I look at them as a whole. This is why it's called holistic medicine. I look at it as a whole and not just as these individual tests to make the numbers look good. I do look at them as a whole to make you happy and healthy. So what do uh, nerves need to revive and, re and, uh, and then repair chronic knee damage? Well, we gotta have good glucose, right? Pour, uh, good oxygen, good blood supply, right? And no inflammation. And we gotta have activation, system activation and lots of it. So what do we use for that? Well, we're the, the first office in all of Southern California that uses the uh, uh, HACAMED horizontal uh, therapy, microcurrent therapy for chronic knee pain. So what the heck does this fancy machine do? Well, it stimulates the nerves uh, and the joint electrically. It, blo it uh, blocks pain, 
improves blood flow, stimulates the nerve and joint biochemically, it allows for greater metabolism and healing, and it reduces inflammation locally. Kind of all the things we said that are important for chronic knee problems, right? So it's real important to understand that this is a $25,000 piece of equipment from Germany. This is a very important piece of equipment, and we use this on pretty much just about every single one of our patients, and it just brings about dramatic healing and improvement with the chronic knee problem. So also we do is non-surgical knee decompression. Uh, it's another one of our uh, many weapons in our chronic knee pain recovery arsenal. So right here you see a gentleman sitting in here. Uh, this is one of the methods. We have another one where it's a table for lying down. And what it does is it actually causes distraction, actually pulls gently apart. So here is the knee. Uh, you can see very a lot of worn uh, cartilage right there. And then you look here and it starts to pull this apart. So when we pull this apart, it causes causes for uh, increased oxygen, nutrition, and fluid. All the things that the cartilage needs to heal and get better. So this is a very important piece of uh, uh, the puzzle that we do with uh, getting people better. What else do we do for knee repair and re uh, restorations? Well, we use what's called a class three low level laser. It's also known as a cold laser. Many people think that, oh, laser, it's gonna burn me or cut me. No, it doesn't do that at all. I mean, you don't feel anything at all. And what it does is it shoots photons into the damaged cartilage and causes it to heal and regenerate. So it's a specific wavelength of light, and it's been scientifically proven to go into the tissue and stimulate energy product production inside the cells, allowing it to heal. It also stimulates microcurrent, uh, microcirculation, all right, to get the circulation for those nerves, and lymphatic drainage, getting rid of the, the swelling in the area. So this effects causes decreased pain, decreased inflammation, and it literally causes increased tissue growth. So let's take a look at what it does. So here you see the photons coming into the damaged cartilage, and you can see as this is coming along, it's getting better. So when you look over here, the black is the damage coming off the tissue cells, and the white is the energy going back in there. So that allows that to get better. Now let me see here if I can just get this to come on one more time. Hey, there you go. So what we're seeing right here, again, is the damaged tissue is healing. And as we shoot in those photons, the oxygen nutrition and the fluid gets into the space and it gets better. Amazing piece of equipment it is. So what else can be done for chronic knee injury and activation? Hakamed uh, horizontal microcurrent therapy, low laser laser therapy. Uh, we have the non-surgical knee decompression. Uh, we use vibration with oxygen therapy. Now there's a lot of uh, vibration units out there. Ours is a medical grade. Uh, it's not the kind of cheapy ones that you can get at the uh, at, down at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. Uh, and uh, this one uh, actually is, uh, the vibration stimulates the knees, strengthens the knees, and delivers fuel oxygen for the healing. So a very, very important piece of uh, equipment in the puzzle. The rest of the program includes essential fatty acid cream. This is a cream that you put on and it literally goes into the tissue and gets rid of inflammation. An amazing piece of equipment. I mean, an amazing thing we could use. Um, the EFAC strongly reduces local inflammation. Um, and uh, also you have the capsules now. So there's the cream, so we're getting on the outside in and then the capsules get the inside out. Also, we give you supplements based upon what we find on your blood lab, lab results. Something very specific for you. You. So every, every program is individualized. No two programs are the same. Everybody gets what they need to have and not what they don't need. So, it takes very many different things to correct chronic knee pain. It's not just one thing will do it. You must address the underlying structural, metabolic, and neuro neurological problems at the same time. That's critical to have uh, success. This condition is progressive and degenerative. What does it mean when I say that? It means the problem will only get worse over time. The symptoms you have right now will only get worse. The problem will only get worse. It's just the tip of the iceberg, what you're experiencing now. So you say, ah, it's not too bad, I can deal with it now. It's best to take care of it now before it becomes a huge problem, or if it slips out of my hands and into the hands of a surgeon. Our chronic, uh, our chronic knee injury recovery program is the most comprehensive and state-of-the-art that exists in Southern California today. 
So specialized comprehensive blood work, uh, looking at the functional ranges to identify the underlying metabolic conditions causing chronic knee injury, and uh, inflammation, blood sugar, or the rest of them. Placed on an anti-inflammatory diet to allow healing. For a few months, you'll be changing your diet so you can get this under control. I'm pretty sure that you're putting something in your mouth that's not so good for you that's causing part of your problem. Um, the knee healing and uh, uh, nerve activation via the uh, non-surgical knee decompression therapy, uh, the Hakamed horizontal microcurrent therapy, the class 3 low-level laser, uh, the vibration therapy with oxygen, and the EFAT cream and the other supplementation. So what's next? So some of you who are watching this have already been into my office and you're getting ready for your report by watching this. So just follow through what we've told you to do so far. If you're watching this as a part of an introduction with me, uh, maybe you just heard about me, you're seeing this online, uh, we had a phone conversation and you wanted more information, here we are. So this is what you do. Make your appointment. So what we're going to do here is that I'm going to have a conversation with you on that first appointment. We're going to spend 10-15 minutes going over your health history, not only about the knee, but everything. I need to know about my patients to know exactly what to do to help each and every one of them. Um, we're going to do a complete ortho, ortho neurological evaluation of your knee. We're going to get to the bottom and see what's going on to the extent of the damage and to make sure your problem is one that I'm an expert at taking care of. We're going to request any necessary images. If you have brought in images or we sent you out for them, you'll bring those back before we see you next time. Review of existing labs. Bring them in. We'll take a look at them. And bring the spouse or significant other if applicable. Now, um, if this is a situation that applies to you, if you're uh, a couple that makes plans, uh, uh, decisions on time and finances, then you should be there and you should be there together. Also, I find that when it's a teamwork approach, those are the people who get the best results. So if we can go any further, if I can accept you into the care program, then we will review the following. Overview of the further complete testing to be done. Uh, review the orthopedic uh, uh, neurological exam that we did and the uh, x-rays if you have them or MRI, CTs, any of those things. Um, overview of the treatment plan. Review of the treatment and you'll get all that in writing. And uh, again, bring the spouse or significant other if applicable. So I have an offer for you here. Uh, because of office time limitations, I only accept 10 chronic knee injury patients a month. The normal fee is $250 for that. If you make the appointment after watching this video, I'm offering you this uh, $250 value for only $49. Uh, reserve the appointment now, and uh, we'll give you two days of treatments as well. You'll get the exclusive uh, Hakamed horizontal therapy, class 3 laser, knee decompression, anything that applies to your care and your ability you know, to know what this is, uh, how we're going to be able to help you. I want to see results. I want to see results in those first two visits. So if we don't see results in the first two visits, then I'm going to really severely question, is this something that we're going to be able to move forward with? I am so confident in my ability to choose the right patients with the right therapies that we will see some improvement in those first two days. Now I'm going to share with you a video here about what life's going to look like for you in the last 10 years of your life. Um, watch this and we'll be right back. Every time I watch that, I think of my mom and my dad. I, oh, shit. So because of office time limitations, I only accept 10 new chronic injury patients per month. The fee for the first two visits is $250 normally. If you make an appointment after watching this video, I'm willing to give you that $250 worth of service for $49. If you reserve the appointment now after watching this video, you'll get two days of treatment as well. Uh, the exclusive Hakamed horizontal therapy, the class 3 laser, uh, the knee decompression, anything that applies to what we need to do for you. It's really important to me to make sure that we're a good match. I have to know for sure that you're going to get great results if you're under my care. So by doing these two therapy sessions, we'll know if we're a great match because I expect to see some improvement in those two days. So what else do you need for the appointment? Well, you got to bring shorts with something, sweatpants, so I can get to the knees and down to your feet. We've got to do a bit of a neurological exam, like I said. Uh, bring any knee MRI, CT scans, x-rays if you have them. If you don't, don't worry about it. We'll get that arranged for you. And then again, bring the spouse or significant other if that's applicable. 
So let's talk about commitment and insurance. So I got three rules for acceptance into the NEED program. Uh, you got to be willing to make lifestyle changes. Again, it, you know, there's a problem there. There's probably things that you're doing right now that's making it worse. We got to stop doing those things and we got to get your body reversed and get it healed. You got to take accountability for your health. Um, I'm going to do everything I can, but I'm only as good as the patient. So you need to do your part and I'll do my part, I promise. Now let's talk about finances. Now insurance and Medicare cover what I call very little to none. So it's somewhere between here and here, probably here, maybe there. It's very, very little of the program. But in all the time that we've been doing this, 96% of our patients who I can accept into the program can get and make payments as low as two to $400 a month on an 18 month payment program. And that is going to be interest free. Now the program is not 18 months, but the payments can be 18 months. I just want to be really clear about that. So I have six things that I want you to think about. On a scale of one to 10, how serious is your illness to you? Where do you see yourself in three years if you don't get this problem corrected? What, how has this affected your relationships, your work, your ability to uh, enjoy life? Think of three things that you could do now that you can't, if you got better, that you can't do now. I would love to know what those things are so we could be on the same page with your goals. On a scale of 1 to 10, how serious is this to you? If you're an 8, 9, or 10 and this is really important to you, then we're going to make a great team and you're going to get great results. If you're somewhere between 0 and 7, uh, we're not going to do very well and I'm going to recommend you don't do the program. So again, due to time constraints, I can only work with the, uh, the most uh, dedicated people, people who are really committed to getting better. And if you're not truly committed, you know, let's not go any further. Let's just call it a day. All right. So right now, I'm going to uh, play a, a, a little short video for you here and uh, kind of drive home the fact of where things are going, uh, whether you choose to take good care of your health or you don't. I'll be right back. What will your last 10 years look like? Will you be quick enough for a game of tag with your grandchild? Strong enough to embrace every moment? Will you grow old with vitality? Or get old with disease? It's time to decide. You know, every time I see that, I think of my mom and my dad. You know, both of them were misdiagnosed. Both were uh, messed up by uh, medical malpractice. And unfortunately, neither of them are around uh, anymore. You know, I sure wish they could see their great grandkids. I wish they could see how great and wonderful I'm, I am and how much I love my life and how I'm doing. And unfortunately, they're just not here to see that. I want to thank you very much for your attention. Uh, and uh, if you need some more information, there you are. Get the information there. And uh, with all that, we'll see you soon. Hello, I'm Patricia Sachs. I have osteoarthritis. I have had a total knee replacement and a half of a knee replacement. I have had a bad back most of my life, adult life. I read Dr. Harper's uh, advertisement about cold laser treatments, and I was a little desperate because my orthopedic surgeon had told me I was having pain in my knee, which I'd only had half of a replacement, and my orthopedic surgeon was telling me that I was on my way to a full knee replacement, which I did not want to think about. So I came in three months ago, and I've been having treatments, and my knee and my back are both much better. Um, and he showed me with the x-rays where you can actually see the improvement. So I'm very happy with what I've had done here. Dr. Harper and his staff are just very, very good people. They're very friendly. They're very uh, accommodating. They're just really lovely people and I've had a great experience here.
my knees, my back. Oh yeah, I was a mess. Right. And I thought I was going to be crippled for life, and doctor told me that I needed knee surgery, both of them replaced, and I didn't want to go there, and so. Did you did you um, did you feel like we did a thorough job in evaluating your problem uh, and uh, be clear to explain what your problem was? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, great. Yeah, that's why I said it made a lot of sense. Beautiful. Yeah. And when you um, and so uh, when you came in this morning, you were telling me a little bit about your day so far. Oh my gosh, today. Oh, after all I've been going through, I I felt like I could run down the hall. <laughs> well, I better not because I'd be in trouble. Uh -huh. Otherwise, just. I feel great. Yeah. You, the pain, I didn't have any pain at all. Fabulous. That's great. At all. At all, yeah. And and you got out of your bed and you walked oh, yeah. around and did your morning chores and everything yeah. was good. Oh, yeah. And yeah, the minute I got up, I mean, this is the best yet. I mean, every day it gets better, but today it's like, wow. Oh, I couldn't wait to get here and tell, tell you about oh, it. That's fabulous. Really great. Um, so, um, if uh, somebody was uh, thinking about coming into this office and maybe hesitant or skeptical, uh, what, what would you uh, want to share with them? Oh, come please, because it's the best thing you can do for yourself, really. Great, fabulous.